user, like I've been in your, in your Q&A before, so I've put the things together, I hired CEOs, I did, did this and that, and I've been very actively involved in building the thing, but then it, it, it runs on its own, on its own yeah? and Niklas is the CEO, he has the, he has the vision for Delivery Hero, which is, by the way, very early, very early days. And for me, the responsibility is to, um, yeah, to, to, like the, the next projects are like as energetic and as impactful and then match sort of the, the, the previous ones. How about that? Come on. <laughs> when you guys, uh, obviously at a, at a conference like this, you, you end up meeting a lot of people. I'm sure the, the, the uh, ideas get thrown at you and, and uh, your email box gets uh, full with uh, pitches. How, uh, what do you say to to younger people who are, are, are having uh, interesting ideas uh, about what it takes to begin to develop them, what it takes to to know how to pitch something, e even as in your case it's a, it's a really terrible idea. Um, what, what, what do you say to young people who come up and ask for advice? You know, I first of all realize that most of ideas are terrible, right? And I think I think that is um, that is one thing, like. But the problem is a little bit like when you become an entrepreneur, you have it's a lot about people who are quite self-centric because if you not would have like self-confidence, uh, you would probably not start a business. For me, it's it's two things: either you are very self-confident or you're very naive. Yeah? And the, the problem is the self-confident people have later on the problem because you know I, I, it's a very self-confident um, 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 guy can run a company uh, when it's small. Um, but when it's becoming larger and larger, I think your self-confidence becomes a very problematic thing. And um, and I think I think in that in that in that moment, you have you have to realize that then it's more about your, not about yourself but about the company, and you have to be able to take yourself back. Um, and I think I think that is that is something that a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, are, it's hard for them to do. Um, some don't have to do it because you have like they are geniuses. I mean, like Steve Jobs. You know, you can if you if you're a genius, of course you can do that. But most of us, including me, we're not geniuses, so we cannot we cannot control a company. How many geniuses do we have here today? How many geniuses in the room? Ah, so some. Yeah. So you can. So so but yeah. So I couldn't. So I couldn't run a company with I don't know 1,500 people this way. Yeah? So and then you have to rely on others. And you have to see that you take your ego back. So, and I think that is always what I tell young entrepreneurs: you know, be able to, to you know, take it back, you know, and, and relax. Do you give to, to, to people starting out? And so, so my experience is that the world is very, very diverse when it comes to entrepreneurship, and there are like many different situations where so there's no one uh, um, size fits all uh, answer. Sometimes young people will come to me; they're very enthusiastic, they seem smart, and they have a terrible idea. Then I will not be nice. I will say like, "This is idea is shit," because I think I'm doing them a favor, and many people are too nice. And well, that's that's very encouraging, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but like, then this is the, goes back to your other question: like when when to when when also when to know when to give up, when to give up an idea. Yeah, because of like on the one hand, a successful entrepreneur, and this is like. For me, it was certainly a success factor. Never give up. We, I remember as kids, we had like this: try, fail, try, fail, try, succeed. And this is what we, we said with friends because if you, you just stick to it. But it doesn't mean necessarily that you stick to your idea. You stick to the idea of becoming an entrepreneur, but you don't stick necessarily to the idea that you started out with because it might not have been, you might not have been ready yet. But how do you know that you're ready? You know only in retrospect. So. And so this would be one answer for, for a certain type of, um, of, of entrepreneurs. Yeah, then there's other type of entrepreneurs, like I don't know, like the consultant, investment banker, who comes with experience, and then it's a totally different set of uh, uh, set of criteria. Usually they yeah, know what they do. But I'm looking for a period. That's all. I'm just I'm looking for a period. Usually they know what they. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. Voila. The French say voila. Voila. Uh, uh, I, I often uh, uh, believe that, that this is a, an example also of what we experience uh, in trying to encourage people in the entertainment business and, and you know, those that want to be uh, writers, actors, or directors, or producers is quite often uh, you, you have to know 
uh, not just what to tell uh, someone who needs to, to hear some uh, piece of advice, but you have to know when to tell them. And that's uh, true with great directors. They not only know what kind of note to give an actor, they know when to give it. And sometimes people have to flounder around for a while and make mistakes um, so that they can learn from those mistakes. Um, <coughs> I have a question to you because I've heard that you invest in startups and I've been wondering in your Q&A session what motivates you to invest in startups. I sort of assume it's not that you don't do it like for financial reasons or not mainly at least, of course this is a side condition, but like what motivates you, what drives you to invest in startups? Uh, lots of different things. Um, you know, I, I love good ideas, I think, um, particularly when someone comes up with something that's service oriented. I also am very interested in, in new technologies in terms of what's happening in, in the entertainment business and how we're capturing both entertainment and how we're going to display it uh, in the years to come. Um, so I've, I've been very involved in, in all sorts of companies in that way. And sometimes it's the individual. You, know, you, you, you may not even think maybe the idea itself, you're sort of taking a risk on it, but you think that the individual uh, is worth investing in. Um, and so sometimes it's about people. both went to university, right? Did, did you go at the, the same university? Mm -hmm. Yes, at the same time? Nearly. Nearly. Uh, and and what, did you, what would you say you learned at, at school uh, that maybe you w couldn't learn outside in, in, in the real world? For me, for me, that's not so much, actually. Um, so, so I, I don't, I, you know, I know really, I mean, I mean, I mean, let's face it, yeah? I mean, like, studying business is not the, you know, smartest thing you can do. And, 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 <laughs> No, really. I mean, I mean, you know, today. If I'm looking back no, today, just, today, I would never so far, do it again. Learned, so far, I've learned. You, you have a terrible idea. You don't think about the future. It's <laughs> stupid studying business. Uh, I, it's good to real. I mean, no, it's true. I mean, if, you, if, if I would not do that, if I would not look back and say, hey, actually, if I would have the chance again, I would, I would do it differently. I think then you're not learning. And um, and 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 I think I think that's you know you know like like I would not recommend my children to study business really. I mean, I mean, there's just more fun thing to do. There's more intellectually challenging things to do. Um, I, at the end, it's not about learning Porter's five forces model or so, right? So, so I, you know, I, I think I think I took something away. You know, it's it's not it's not that I say I didn't take something away. So, so what I took away is, first of all, I learned, you know, because my, my parents, you know, I, I, I you know I grew up in investment. You know, I I didn't, I didn't know about anything like investment banking or consulting or all these things. So what I learned was really, it opened up the world for me.